Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're going to explore the idea of providing an upgrade to the original Ted Trevor Corv-8 transmission design. Back in the late 60s, Ted Trevor had designed a method to have a Corvair transmission have the input shaft of a standard Saginaw transmission to be able to bolt a V8 engine to the Corvair transmission. And he did it in a manner that was fairly successful, but it did have his shortfalls. Here you see two Corvair main shafts. This is the front nose that engages fourth gear. And you can see that it's quite worn. This is another main shaft out of another Corvair. And you can also see that it's quite worn. The reason they wear is because these shafts cannot stand the torque of the V8 engine. The reason? These very small needle rollers are used between fourth gear and the main shaft. Now, a stock Saginaw transmission uses much larger needle rollers which can handle the higher torque of the V8 engine. So here's how we're going to make the upgrade fix. In this view, you can see the two original Corvair main shafts. The longer one on the top is an actual Saginaw main shaft from your stock transmission that would go in an Impala or a Chevelle, thereabouts, what everybody seems to call a big car. But in actuality, these transmissions are, they have some subtleties that are different, but in a lot of ways, they're actually very much the same. Now, the reason why you might want to upgrade is because you use the larger needle rollers in this particular application. And here, you can see the differences in the nose diameter of the main shaft of the Saginaw on top and the Corvair nose, which is on the bottom. In looking at the shafts, you can see that they're pretty much identical other than the stock Saginaw transmission. Well, that main shaft is considerably longer. So here's the fix. You would then cut the Saginaw main shaft. This is the section that has been removed so that the shaft is now shortened. Then, because of the diameter and the material available, you would then turn the diameter of the original main shaft to 1 inch 55 thousandths. And then what you would do is cut the new spline to match the Corvair pinion gear into the original Saginaw main shaft. That will allow you to use the Saginaw main shaft inside your Corvair gearbox. This is a first generation cluster gear, first second slider, and reverse gear. This is a second generation cluster gear, first second slider, and reverse gear. This is a 254 ratio first gear input shaft, and below it is a 311 first gear input shaft. The way you can beef up the Saginaw transmission in the Corvair is to actually use the closer ratio 254 first gear. You can see the gear size is substantially larger, which gives you greater surface area and makes it stronger. This is looking inside a Corvair 311 first gear, first generation gearbox. This would be commonplace for your stock Corvair. With either configuration, you can use the regular Saginaw main shaft, cut it down, respline it, and everything fits. All the gears are identical, and they are all interchangeable 
as long as you use the same amount of teeth in the proper location. This is looking inside a Corvair gearbox with a 254 first gear using all second generation components. So there you have it. Whether you chose a close ratio 254 ratio or the wide ratio 311 first gear ratio, whether you use first generation gears or second generation gears, this upgrade can happen and it can happen inside a Corvair gearbox with no trouble at all using standard Saginaw gears.